So at 126, you got his counterpart in, in Goodwin over there, which I, I can't really like I, I kind of want to hate a little bit. But really, when Jimmy came around and even prior to Jimmy, Goodwin was having good games and he was showing his explosiveness and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, I think they're going to try to either address a, a wide receiver and some sort of a free agent. We talked about prior possibly coming oh, yeah. in there or maybe a Moncrief or somebody coming in there. And then I do think that they'll draft trying to hit on a bigger receiver. Maybe I, I saw on Roto World they mentioned a, a Marcel Atman or like a, one of those bigger bodied mm-hmm, guys, mm-hmm. which they're kind of lacking uh, currently. How do you feel about Godwin? Or Goodwin, sorry. Goodwin's, I mean, obviously he's got the Olympian speed that's very intri- intriguing. But, I mean, they were he, Kyle Shanahan was scheming him short. It was similar to what Didi had going on in, in Jacksonville. There's that deep threat. But, I mean, they were they were working him on other parts of the field, short and over the middle, down the field. He looked pretty dang good doing it. And he was out there, you know, I, I, I was watching some mic'd up stuff um, and, and watching some behind the scenes, like, you hear that that those pads just hitting each other. Clickety clack, clickety clack. You see him taking on that physical role and playing physical throughout the route, and like like it, it looked like he was becoming a real NFL wide receiver rather than just a gimmicky, your Olympic Olympic fast run down the field. Um, I, he was playing super super physical. Like it was impressive to see. He even even bailed Jimmy out on one throw that. A bad throw that he tossed off his back foot that should have been an interception. Hey, Jimmy doesn't make bad throws. He made right? one. <laughs> he made one, but you didn't know it was a bad throw because uh, Goodwin came back so hard to the ball and just snatched that thing out of the air. It should have been an interception. I was very impressed. Jimmy likes <laughs> Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> I do think that, like you said, I think they'll bring in another wide receiver. But as of now... You know, Jarvis and A-Rob are supposed to be getting franchise well, tagged, and I know anything can change, but, like, I'm still very interested in all these dudes. Like, I just want a piece of this 49er wide receiver uh, agreed. offense. There's, there's, which we've talked about at nausea multiple times. Get a piece, times. man. Yeah. Get a piece. It, it, there's zero chance they don't bring in help into the wide receiver room. I mean, Garcon's really old. Trent Taylor's awesome and really young. But like you said about a good one here, We've been talking about the Niners way too long not to say coaching and X's and O's. But the first four years of his career, Goodwin was in Buffalo where wide receivers <laughs> go to die, and he had 17 catches. Bill's it, Mafia hates Big Co. at this point. One catch in, in 2014 on 10 games, one catch. And he only two games with two catches in 2015, so he had the injury there. In ga- 15 games in 2016, they could only get him to rock 29 times. And just like you just said, he's scheming him short, scheming him long. My man Kyle Shanahan has Goodwin, who's been was in the league for four years and comes out there and doubles his catches in one season. And he goes 56 for 962, an average of 17.2. And the, he had a three-game stretch there, which was absolutely ridiculous. And he goes eight for a buck ninety nine, six for a buck oh six, and ten for a buck fourteen. If you played him in your fantasy playoffs from let's say you went thirteen to sixteen, sixteen he let you week sixteen he let you down a little bit, but he was playing Jacksonville, so you probably weren't playing him if you, if were you smart, got to the you championship game, but he could have got you to that championship game. Absolutely. Let's take it all the way back to week ten. From week ten on, this guy goes seventeen points, eleven point eight, seventeen point nine, sixteen point six. 22.4, then he plays Jacksonville and goes down to 6.7. But I you mean, did, if you weren't mm, playing mm. him against Jacksonville. But the Niners got that win, though, sure against did. the Jacksonville Jaguars. <laughs> sure <laughs> did. I like it. So there you are. There, There's a couple of wide receivers right there. I mean, good one. So, so back to the original question. Are you, if you, okay, so there are Goodwin and Pierre around the same area. You had to pick one. Who you got? I think uh, I, I just heard a pin drop. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's a tough one. I don't, I don't know why there isn't more of a gap. I, still get, neither necessary. It's really more about... I think I got to go Pierre. I think yeah, Pierre's I gotta just going to be that locked in at, at one of those outside guys. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think Goodwin would probably come back to the gimmicky player when, when Kyle's got more to work with. Like, what did he have at the end of the season, you know, to... Uh, he worked with what he had. Gar- exactly. Garcon's, Garcon Garcon's nowhere to be so seen. Garcon He's got went down, rookie. like I said, week eight. And then from there, from nine to, to 10, up. 11, 12, 13, 14, He 15, just plugged 16. him right in. Right. Plugged him right in. But a rookie tight end, 
you know, rookie rookie, rookie slot receiver in Trent Taylor. So he just had nothing else to work with, and he comes in here and a he rookie tur- a rookie backup running back. Sure, and he just and he turns turns the the basically a rookie quarterback, four year veteran receiver that has done nothing at all into a dynasty dar a, a fantasy football end of the season darling. I, I want I want Pierre. I'm going to answer my own question. I'm going to go with Pierre just because I think there's some safety involved. I think he'll be locked in as one of those outside guys. I like what Godwin did. Did I think he's a nice player to put on the bottom of your roster? But I think I would rather have. I'm not not probably not. Maybe I would see what somebody would give me for Goodwin right now, but I, I mean, saw him I, get, I saw him traded for a third rounder the other day. I would give up. A th- I would I would trade him for a third rounder right now just to just to get something for him. Absolutely. I guess I guess you could do that. I, I also think that when they bring in another wide receiver, I think it'll probably push these dudes' ADPs down even further, and you won't have to spend even this much to get them. I completely agree with that, Jay Wayne. I completely agree with that. And that with that third round pick for Goodwin, and I said absolutely on that trade. That was in preparing for a sixteen man cut down in, in FFPC. Right. In a deep league, there's no reason to just liquidate good one because you see what he can do he's obviously an nfl receiver with those types of numbers and there's no guarantee that they don't that the 49ers don't go into the next season and garcon don't pop a hamstring or something he's gonna be 32 years old i love garcon i think and i hope he comes out there and crushes but he could get hurt he's he's gonna be old he ain't getting no younger and maybe they do have a couple of guys and they get draft somebody but maybe it's a bust jimmy g's not a bust we know that offense ain't a bust. Look what he did this year with parts and pieces. Well, you know? we know what kind of off. We know that 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 a Kyle Shanahan offense is a is a big proponent of. Uh, they'll throw a third receiver out there, but they Shanahan likes to run that two receiver, two tight, two tight ends end. in it. Yeah, and, and uh, keep you guessing on which right. direction they're going. You know they're going to pound the rock. They you just don't know which way they're going with it. 